Hello and welcome back to the build. Today we're going to be uh, just putting the finishing touches to the quad. Um, as you can see I've already done a few bits and pieces but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to repeat the steps that I've just been through. All you have to do is just do them three times uh, again for each motor and then you should be good to go. So let's get on. So as I did before I uh, soldered on some bullet connectors but I just want to show you again um, how it's done and then uh, we'll go on to doing some heat shrink and then obviously you just do the same for the rest of the motors so I won't show you that all again so here we go again so just put a bit on the soldering iron transfer the heat in the little hole fill up the bullet connector about three quarts full with solder Take your wire, hold it in, take the soldering iron off, let it cool down, take out the holder, get your piece of shrink hose. Let the bullet connector cool down first, all the shrink hose will shrink onto it without being in position properly. Slide it over, leave a bit sticking over the end. And then get your lighter and shrink it. Nice even heat all the way around. Wait for it to cool. Get your knife and trim into the middle of the bullet connector. There you go. So the next thing we've got to do is fit the motor to the arm. Now when you're doing this, you want to uh, make sure you use thread lock to hold the motors on or uh, they'll vibrate loose over time. So what I do is I get a bit of, a bit of plastic, squeeze a bit of thread lock onto the plastic. What you can just do is just dip the screw into the thread lock and you don't get too much on. So the idea is that you want to get all of these aligned. So first just put them all in loose. Obviously putting thread lock on each one as you go. Obviously make sure your wires are facing down the arm underneath. You don't have to go crazy on the thread lock. I think just a bit is okay. Allow you to remove the motor a little bit if needed. And once you've got them all in, just go around and gently tighten them in a cross pattern. So starting top left, top right, uh, top left, bottom right, top right, bottom left. Go in a star pattern and just give them a nice even tighten down, you don't have to go crazy and that should be it really so there you go, that's your fitted motor next feed the connection through to the lower side of the arm like that, now we're going to tie wrap the ESC onto the arm so what I'm going to do is because this is going to be showing I'm going to pull off the sticker so now that's all that's off need some little mini tie wraps nice thin ones 
you put one quite close into the arm quite close to the base of the arm and then align your wires so obviously you want your signal wire in the middle I'm just going to turn that round to match the other arm actually set like that Start the tie wrap and get everything nicely aligned and then just tighten it down. Not too hard again. Then I'm gonna go to the set to the space next to that and just do the same again. Take your snips, just snip them flush like that. Now with the motor wires, we're just going to connect them however we fancy, and then we'll uh, we'll try them. We'll see what happens in the uh, APM setup, and we might have to change some of the connections around if the motors spin the wrong way. So what you want to do is just look, look at the other side and make sure they look neat, and then just connect them up into the bullet connectors. Eventually, they'll get tie wrapped up when we know they're all spinning the correct way. Just like that, a nice bunch underneath. So now we're going to go to fitting the motor mount. So the motor mount needs to go to attach the prop to the uh, motor. We've got three little screws here for the job. So again, you want thread lock on these, so get your sheet again, you might have some left on it. What I've done on the other, other three is first of all put the, put the screws in the holder and then just get, just scrape the, the screws round in the thread lock because you don't want loads on these. You just white enough. Just a little covering. Same again. Do uh, tighten them all up a little bit at the time. Going around the motor. And then just finish them off all with a little nip. No need to go crazy again. Just a little nip will be fine. I'll just run through this with you, so on this this motor, the front left and the back right, that has a left hand thread on both of them. And then the front right and the back left, they just have normal normal uh, prop mounts on them. So basically when the when the props go on they'll self tighten when the craft's flying. So uh, that's quite good so that your props don't come flying off and also you don't need to really really tighten on your props and possibly damage your ca damage your carbon props. Okay so um, I think the next thing is I'm going to get the the laptop out and uh, show you how to install the firmware onto the APM and just to do the initial setup and then we'll come back um, and test the motors test the motor direction spin but you can do that all from the from the uh, actual mission plan software now the last thing as well I just need to do is uh, connect the 
the APM power supply module in so it's just a little connector here as you can see I've already put some black tape around the the power supply module just before I came on camera so I'll just plug this in and then we'll get back to the we'll see you at the laptop so it's shown on the on the APM as PM so that's, just, that's a power module nothing else will fit in its place so that's it so we'll be see you back at the laptop I think what I'll do is I'll just go through the connections from the APM to the receiver and then we'll finish it there for this episode so basically as I said before I use two wires for the signal and then one wire for one more signal and the power to power the receiver so this is just the connections that I'm just going to go through you can connect it anyhow you want really if you've got a if you've got a programmable transmitter you don't really need to follow this but anyway this is what I've done so on the APM pin 1 is connected to pin 3 on the receiver pin 2 is connected to pin 2 pin 3 is connected to pin 1 on the receiver pin 4 on the APM is connected to pin 6 pin 5 is connected to pin 5 pin 6 on the APM is connected to pin 4 on the receiver and pin 7 on the APM is also connected to pin 7 on the receiver so basically that's what you want to do you can do it anyhow you want just make sure you get your plus and your minus now on the APM the most inner pin on the board is the signal and the most outer pin to the edge of the board is the minus so just go ahead and connect them up and just check your work before you switch the power on so We'll see you for the next episode. I hope you enjoyed that. Bye.